Now the playoffs are over, I thought it'd be fun to look at one of the most painful and difficult to watch moments in NHL playoff history. Let's travel to before my birth and what was then known as the Smythe Divisional Finals for the Clarence Campbell Conference, or what we probably now call a second round Western Conference playoff matchup. And this was the Battle of Alberta during peak days of the Oilers Flames rivalry. The Oilers, as powered by a 215 point scoring Wayne Gretzky, had just won the President's Trophy and swept what was then a best of five round one series against Vancouver. The Flames, who went 40, 31, and 9, remember there were only 80 games back then, were being powered by many legends of their own, including Lanny McDonald and good Nova Scotian boy Al McInnes. Calgary was coming into the round against Edmonton, not only ending the season on a hot streak, but also wiping out the Winnipeg Jets in three games. However, pretty much since joining the NHL in the late 70s, the Oilers had dominated the Battle of Alberta. And I mean, this was one of the best hockey teams ever assembled. Think about this. The Oilers joined the NHL from the WHA in 79 and 80. They then go on to beat the Islanders dynasty in 84, repeat in 85, followed by wins in 87, 88, and 90. These Oilers teams had seven Hall of Famers, including Glenn Anderson, Paul Coffey, Grant Fuhrer, Yari Curry, Mark Messier, most recently Kevin Lowe, and of course the great one himself. And this 86 season would see Gretzky get the most points ever in NHL history in one season. Season. So Calgary was facing Goliath and it was certainly a spirited matchup. Not only was there the expected Albertan brotherly love, but score wise Calgary and Edmonton split the first six games. Calgary winning game one, Edmonton winning game two in overtime, with that flip flopping going all the way to game seven in Edmonton. In the third period it's tied 2-2 when Oilers player Steve Smith would collect the puck behind the net and accidentally send it off Grant Fuhr's leg into his own net giving Calgary the lead with what would be the game-winning series clinching goal. This series is, as of this year, the only time Calgary's defeated Edmonton in the playoffs. The Oilers got their revenge in 88, this time when Calgary was the President's Trophy winner, and again in 91, with the Oilers win in 2022 being the only other playoff series since. In 86, the Flames would make it all the way to the Stanley Cup, but they'd run into the absolute force of nature that was a 20-year-old Patrick Waugh, with the Montreal Canadiens winning in five games. Smith's own goal would essentially break up the Oilers' dynasty. They'd win two Stanley Cups before this year, two after this year. Had they won in 86, they could have had five in a row. The image of Steve Smith immediately after the play is a very famous one. But I mean, the story is as much new Hall of Famer Mike Vernon shutting the door for the rest of the third. It was so bad for Smith that even the Flames said they had mixed emotions after the game. Famously, in 87, after the Oilers won the Stanley Cup, Wayne Gretzky would give it immediately to Steve Smith. And as a bit of poetry, after the Oilers would get two more Stanley Cups, Calgary would grab one in 89 before Edmonton would grab one final one in 1990. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this will be a peak off season of fun classic hockey content for you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover next. Definitely want to talk about Patrick Waugh's MVP postseason in 86. We'll get to that sometime soon.